Deshaun Watson in pre-game warm-up in December. Credit, Troy Taumina, USA Today Sports. What seemed like an impossible fantasy for the Denver Broncos, trading for Deshaun Watson, is becoming more and more of a reality. According to the Athletics' Michael Lombardi, the disgruntled superstar quarterback who said he will not play for the Houston Texans, also said he doesn't want to play for the Jets or Dolphins, with his two favorites being the Broncos and San Francisco 49ers. As Lombardi explained, Watson holds all the cards and will likely choose where he plays next. For the Broncos, this is massive news. The Jets have been awful for many years, but the draw of playing in New York City must have been appealing to the young, star quarterback. In Miami, the Dolphins finished 10-6 last season and were the closest of the teams on this list to make the playoffs, just narrowly missing out. But, neither the Jets nor the Dolphins have the championship-winning history of the Niners nor Broncos. Yes, the Jets have one Super Bowl win and Miami has two, compared to three for Denver and five for San Francisco. If we look closer, the Niners were in the Super Bowl only a year ago, losing to the Kansas City Chiefs in February 2020. But, the Broncos may be the more exciting team. Denver just held on to Von Miller and he'll be rushing the quarterback opposite of Bradley Chubb, with Shelby Harris in the middle. The Broncos' defensive playmakers continue with Alexander Johnson in the middle, newcomer Ronald Darby at one cornerback and rising star Justin Simmons in the secondary. Basically, the Broncos' defense is ready to compete for a championship. On the offensive side of the ball, Denver's only missing a quarterback. Cortland Sutton is a blossoming star and legitimate no. One receiver while soon-to-be second-year men Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler impressed his rookies. And one can't forget about the beefy and athletic tight end Noah Fant, entering his prime and his third season this year. Even the offensive line has come into its own, with Garrett Bolles living up to his potential and more solid pieces all along the front. Add Deshaun Watson and subtract Locke and the Broncos go from 5 to 11 to legitimate AFC West and Super Bowl contenders in 2021. But, if new GM George Patton wants to land a top 5 quarterback, it won't be cheap. Famously, rumors around the league have stated the Texans want at least two first-round picks and possibly multiple young, good-to-great players. That could mean trading this year and next year's first-round picks, Drew Locke and the aforementioned Sutton, Chubb for Watson. The picks are tough to let go, but a player of Sutton or Chubb's caliber would be really difficult. However, Denver's been desperate for a star quarterback since 2014, Peyton Manning's final stellar season. If the opportunity arises, the Broncos should certainly trade a King's ransom for Deshaun Watson.